Hi everyone, it's Justine. Knowing your body type allows you to focus on the parts that you like in your body when you style yourself and hide the parts that you like less. But your body type depends on correct measurements. So today I will show you how to measure correctly your body and then we'll find out which body type you have. Let's start with your measurements. You should be in your underwear or wear comfortable adjusted clothes like for example leggings and a top like I'm wearing. No bra, take off your bra before you start. I don't want to get naked on camera, so I'm wearing one, but you shouldn't. <laughs> in this case, do what I say, not what I do. Start with the bust. Measure at the widest point and make sure to stay horizontal all around the body. Then comes the waist. The narrowest point is not where your belly button is, it is actually higher. If you feel with your hands, it's just below your rib cage. Then we measure the hips. The widest point isn't where you can feel your bones on the sides, it is lower. For most women, it's at about the level of the crotch, more or less. You have your three measurements? Perfect! Keep them for the next time that you order clothes online and can't decide which size to choose. Instead of fighting to understand if US size 6 is a European size whatever, inches, centimeters and so on, you just go to the measurement table. I have one on my website as well, it looks like that. And with your precise measurements, you exactly know which size you need. But now, what's your body type? If your hips are the widest part of your body, then you have a so-called triangle shape or pear shape. That's a really mean way to say it. It's the most common body shape. It's my type as well. I'd rather call it a Beyoncé or a Marilyn Monroe shape. Typically, if you have this body shape, you would want to accentuate the thinness of your waist and play on showing your legs like Marilyn and Beyoncé do. If the widest part in your body is your breast and you have quite large shoulders, then you have a so-called inverted triangle body shape. It's a type that women usually rather reach by training than by nature. It's a very sporty type with a narrow hip line and white shoulders. Renée Zellweger, Bridget Jones, as well as Naomi Campbell have this body type. They're both well-trained ladies. Watch how Renée Zellweger typically stands not in front of the camera so that her shoulder line is going to appear narrower and her silhouette overall more feminine. Our third body type is typical of the supermodels from the 90s. Straight, boyish silhouette without too many curves. This was typically the shape of Kate Moss and that's why she got so famous after the supermodel of the 80s were so hourglass-like. We'll get to hourglass later. The fourth body type is the so-called apple type, another mean way of putting it. So I'd call it the Catherine Seta Jones type and she's a sexy lady, isn't she? So typically her waistline is not that thin and she looks more like a, like a diva or a vamp from the 40s and 50s. She's incredibly sexy as well. Watch how she's wearing the perfect outfit for her body shape. She's wearing drapey fabrics, asymmetric, so you can't really say where the waist is and not tight at the waist. It's perfect for a body type. The fifth body type is men's fantasy and the most famous body type it is. It's the hourglass shape. And here, when you think of hourglass, you have to think of Sofia Vergara. If you're from North or South America, you know her. She plays in The Modern Family, which is a TV series. She has the typical dream mermaid body. And she knows it. <laughs> So she's wearing here the perfect outfit for a body type and that's a mermaid dress which accentuates the hourglass shape even more. In case we hadn't noticed that she looks perfect! I'm considering making a video about how to dress and style those different body types. If you are interested, let me know by liking this video or leaving a comment down below in the description box. I have also made a video about how to determine your skin tone if you're interested. Which colors fit, which colors you should avoid interesting video. And here, my video from last week about how to draw legs and feet. It's part of a series called Fashion Drink for Beginners. You'll find the playlist on my channel and I'll see you next Sunday for our next video because I'm switching to Sunday. Take care, see you next week. Bye!